Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another sort of um, sort of top 10 sort of thing today. But it's not, it's 12 and they're not in any specific order, so it's not like a top 10. What we've got today is 12 Italian horror giallo movies you must watch. That's what I'm going through today. So these are films that I really highly recommend you watching, especially if you're just going to try and start to get into... Um, the, the, the Italian sort of um, film uh, and horror film sort of uh, genre, because it is its own sort of genre, really. Um, the Italian sort of films were really big in the sort of 60s, 70s, the early 80s. Um, they, they sort of dominated the horror and video nasty kind of um, uh, sort of uh, scene. Um, so this is... Um, 12, I believe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that I highly recommend. Um, so I've left out any really ghastly films like um, Cannibal Holocaust, because I, I wouldn't recommend that as, as, as a watch, really. That's only something if you're really into extreme horror, I, I would recommend that. But this, these are... These are, I wouldn't say were extreme. There's some video nasties in here. And some of them are very brutal and very gory. But they're not on the cannibal holocaust level. So anyway, let's get cracking. And they're not in any order. Uh, the first one is in this box set here. This is a Dario Argento box set. And it wouldn't be a top 10 or top 12 or a 12 must-see films if it hasn't got an Argento film in it. So we have put in there Suspiria. Fantastic film, absolutely amazing. It's I really like it because it delves into sort of witchcraft, and which is you know witchcraft is one of my favourite subgenres of horror, and and it's so elegantly elegantly filmed, and it's just wonderful, and it's it's a visual treat. Although some of the scenes are quite um, shocking and gory, it's still a visual treat to watch. A really classic, classic Italian horror film to start off with, Suspiria. Uh, next up is the Giallo film, um, which I really like. And I've not long reviewed it on my channel. And it's uh, Death Walks and High Hills. Really cool Giallo film. Typical Giallo killer, masked with a knife, blade and gloves. Fantastic. I, I love that about the Giallo films. Uh, yes, it makes them very, very quite samey. But it's it, it's its own sort of genre because what that's trying to represent is that you can't see the killer. You know the killer's there. So they've covered him up in sort of like a black uh, trilby hat or black ski mask and black clothing, black gloves. So really he's not there. It's, it's so you these murders are happening so you can see them happening but you've got no idea who it is that's doing it that is why i believe that a lot of the giallo films that they are in this kind of get up and this is a fantastic film i did review it in my channel it's from my giallo box set which has got another two movies in there which i'm still yet to review on my channel most of these quite a few of these have had reviews on my channel guys so that's another one. So next up we have a Lucio Fucci film. Um, and it's a serial killer film. And it's called New York Ripper. To me, I think it's a very underrated sort of um, uh, slasher film. Because it, it, it came out in the height of all the sort of slasher films. And this was really, really gory. It even says at the bottom there, the sickest movie ever made. But no, I mean, you've got Cannibal Holocaust. And, well, most of the cannibal films are, are, are a lot worse than this. But this is still really cool. It's a really good sort of serial killer film. Uh, New York Ripper. About a serial killer going around killing these women in New York with a Donald Duck sort of voice. It's a really cool film. And it's really, really great. I love that film. And I, my lad loves it too. It's a really good film. We're sticking with Lucio Fucci for the next one. So Lucio Fucci is uh, prominent in quite a few of these. Uh, this one is his zombie classic. And Zombie Flesh Eaters. Or Zombie 2. If if you want to 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 go along that line. Now it's, it's a classic sort of uh, zombie film. Starring Ian McCulloch. It was supposedly... Um, his kind of sequel to Dawn of the Dead 
um, and and it's a really cool uh, zombie film. It was a video nasty. Um, it is quite gory. It's got the this version that's been released by Arrow does have the the scene that was cut out with the uh, the eye going through the wood uh, wooden shard. That is one of the reasons why it was a video nasty. But it's now reinstalled into the film for all its glory. It's fantastic. Really cool. Zombie flesh eaters. Guys, aren't these films amazing? <laughs> Lucio Fucci next, okay? And this is one of his trilogy films. And this is City of the Living Dead. This is a trilogy of films with um, House by the Cemetery and The Beyond. This is my favourite of the three. I, I, I didn't want to put all three in there, so I just went with one. And they're all based around this Book of Enoch, which is like a book that opens a gateway to hell. And this is what's called the the the, uh, the Gates of Hell trilogy. And this is one of those fantastic, very weird, very strange stories. Includes sort of like ghosts, zombies, everything. And I believe Ian McCulloch's in this as well. I'm sure he is. I know he's in one of them. Um, but absolutely fantastic, cool. Really gory, great fun popcorn movie. Really silly, but really cool. City of the Living Dead. Absolutely love it. That's that's one. These these are all highly recommended. Like I said, this is not a top ten. This is twelve Italian horror giallo films that you must watch. Okay, so we've already got through five. So we're getting there, aren't we? And this one, um, I'm putting that one in a minute because it's another Lucio film. Um, we're going to go with a a um, giallo film this time. Um, and this is fantastic too, and it's called Blood on Black Lace. Uh, and, and there we go, we've got your typical giallo killer. Um, it's fantastic, it's this killer hitting the fashion world, or these sort of models being killed and stuff like that. And it's a really cool sort of story, I believe I've reviewed it on my channel. This is the uh, limited still book edition um, from Arrow. Um, it's a really cool Giallo film. It's got some quite good kills in there. There's a bit of gore in there. Giallos weren't as gory as a lot of the other sort of um, horrors that were, that were around in Italy at the time. These were a little bit tamed down a little bit. Saying that, there is quite a gory Giallo in here. So we'll get to that. Fantastic. Really cool film. So we're going back to Lucio Fucci again. So Lucio Fucci again, and this time a different one for him, and it's The Psychic. This is an amazing film. I must review this on my channel if I haven't already. It's about a, 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 this woman who's got this psychic power to see these murders that have happened before they happen. And it's a really cool sort of thriller, giallo, horror sort of film. Really, really cool. And it, and it was good to see Lucio take a different direction because a lot of these films are very splatter films, you know, they're very gory and very like you know, uh, gross sort of film. So that's really really cool. The Psychic. Now we've got another slasher next. Absolutely brilliant one, this one, um, and I absolutely love it. And it's called Stage Fright. Really really cool film. Love this film. It's 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 a slasher based in like this um, theatre where this um, theatre company are trying to put on this musical and they're being stalked by this killer with a chainsaw and an owl mask. And it's really, really cool. Um, it's a really good film. Um, I think this has been cut because I've got this on um, DVD and there's a couple of bits on it that are not in it and I don't know why. But I believe this is slightly cut, but still really cool film. I've got it with the uh, limited um, slip case, which is really cool. Excellent film. So we've got a Giallo next. We're back to Argento again, Dario Argento. And we've got The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Again, I did do a review of this on my channel. Really, really cool um, film. This is a great 4K edition by... Um, by Arrow, it's really, really cool, it's a great film, really love it, it's this guy, he sees this murder going on at this, uh, in this sort of art gallery, and he tries to help, he gets in, there's these two doorways, both glass doors, and he gets stuck in between the both of them, and he can't help, and he's watching the murder, or, or the assault going on, and, 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 it's, and the case is built around that sort of thing, 
Uh, it's a really, really cool film. Really different sort of giallo, sort of like who's done it, sort of like detective investigation sort of film. Really loved that film. Really cool. It's not the goriest or anything like that. In fact, there's very, very little gore in it. But it's such a good story. So I highly recommend that if you don't like, if you don't want a gory sort of Italian film, this is one to go for. It's brilliant. But if you do like gore, then you, <laughs> there's nothing more gory. I don't think that, well, apart from obviously our, our cannibal holocaust, then Alberto Lenzi's um, Demons. Um, fantastic film. Um, I saw this when it came out on the VHS. I bought it and I loved it straight away. Um, I, be, I believe this is an um, Umberto Lenzi film and I believe it was produced by Dario Argento um, I'm sure I, I, I could be wrong I'm, I'm always, no Lamberto Bava, sorry <laughs> I've still got some of the bits from it in here yes, Lamberto Bava film um, and it was produced by Dario Argento Demons is based in this cinema. Um, they, they, they're giving out these free tickets to see this premiere of this horror film. And all these people go. And all the stuff that's happening in the horror film starts happening in the cinema. And the cinema gets overrun with demons. And it's a fight for survival. It's a great survival um, monster. Gory flick, really. Really, really cool. I love demons. It's brilliant. So we're getting there, guys. A couple more recommendations for you. Um, both Dario Argento and both really cool sort of verge between um, a giallo and horror both of them and this one is a Profondo Rosso which is called Deep Red really cool film really great sort of giallo horror film It's it's got giallo elements to it but has a, a lot more of a horror vibe to it than a lot of the other giallos Really, really cool film. I believe I've reviewed this on my channel, so check it out if I have. So the last, and no, last but not least, is Argento's best film, and probably one of my favourite Italian films, and it's Tenebrae. I can't not recommend this enough. It is a giallo horror film, and it is quite gory, but the story and the twists in the story are absolutely fantastic. It's about this... this um, guys wrote this sort of like thriller book called Tenebrae and there's a killer out there copying kill, uh, kills like from the book and so and the police are investigating it and, and the police are daft they really are but it's fantastic it's an amazing amazing film um, I'm not sure if they've released this on 4k if they have I'll be quite interested in picking it up because I don't normally double buy but because it being one of my favourites I would make an exception so Tenebrae so there we go, that's 12 Italian horror gi giallo films I would highly recommend to you. So we've got Tenebrae. We have Stage Fright. We have Demons. But if you watch that, you might as well watch Demons too. We've got Deep Red. Fantastic film. Really cool. We've got The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. A great giallo. We've got The Psychic. A little bit different film from Lucio. We've got Blood and Black Lace. Another great giallo film. Really cool. City of the Living Dead. One of the Gates of Hell trilogy. Zombie Flesh Eaters. Horror Hands favourite zombie film. The New York Ripper. Lucio's had a good old grab this uh, this um, and Daria have grabbed this sort of um, section up. They, they, there are some other great directors, but this is just twelve that I recommend. Um, Death Walks on High Heels, a great Giallo film, really cool. And of course, last but not least, um, Suspiria, really, really cool. And that's in my Dario Argento box set. And there you go, guys. There's there's 12 that I'd recommend. I've picked up a new one. I've not seen it yet, so I will review it on my channel. And it's called The Horrible Dr. Hitchcock. 
Now, this is another Italian film. I've just picked it up. It's on the Radiance label. Now, if you don't know Radiance are, they're a company that are making... They're putting out some movies, but they're putting them out at limited numbers. So once they're gone, they're gone. They're not reprinting or nothing like that. So I've picked this one up. And it's supposed to be almost like an Italian sort of version of a Hammer sort of gothic sort of tale. So I'm going to look forward to watching this and I will bring it to my channel. It's not in my 12, but just because I picked it up and it was in front of me, therefore, oh, I'll show you this. Um, so this is something that will come into my channel and hopefully it'll be one that I can recommend to. But until next time, guys, please check out some horror channels. Check out Horror Hands, the horror geek man v film. RS Designs, Pizzawell, I'm Ice Lord, Cat Watches Horror Movies, Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House. And a massive shout out to my Italian horror loving son, Lemon Lord. Till next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.